Now so far we have implemented lots of APIs in Node.js. Now let's start working a little bit on the front end of our application. Then we will again jump in our back end and we will implement more features like follow user, unfollow user and comment on a post. But for now let's work a little bit on the front end, right? So I'll open CMD in here and I'll create a new React project. So here I'll be typing npx create a react re react app and uh, i will give a project name client cli c l i p -E n t and i will hit enter and now let's wait for a few seconds and let this uh, project set up and it's done so now let's navigate into our client folder by typing cd c l i e n t client now i will install one more package and we will be making use of that in this video to implement routing so i'll in install npm by typing npm install uh, react dash r o u t e r dash dom and i will hit enter and i will again wait for a few seconds and let this package also install and it's done so now let's open vs code in this client directory by typing code dot and let me fit this vs code into my screen size uh, like so right and let's start the development server by typing npm start start hit enter and there we go okay so now let's start working on our front end so uh, i'll open this source folder i'll go to this app.js so i'll get rid of this all the boiler code right yeah i'll get rid of this all the boiler code in here and i don't need this css and the logo i will delete this logo and i will open this app.css and i'll get rid of this all the css in here like so i will save this file okay and for now i'll put just an h1 maybe and hello let's save this and let's have a look okay hello so now we will be first adding a kind of a navigation bar and for our ui i'll be using this materialize right now this is a general library you can use it for angular you can use it for react you can use it for plain html right and it's quite easier to use that now i know there's a separate library called like material ui just built for react but you know this library materializes much more easier to work with because in this library all we need to do is add a class name in order to achieve, achieve the desired style right so this is much more easier to use right okay so here i'll be searching for navigation bar right yep and i will copy this code control c okay and now i'll be creating a separate maybe a folder in, inside the source and i'll give it a name of c-o-m-p-o-n-e-n-t-s components inside this component i'll be creating nav bar dot js like so first i will import react from react and now i'll create a functional component i'll give it a name of nav bar and I can assign this to arrow function and now I can put a return and I can return and I can paste what I just copied. Now here uh, select this class and hit control D, control D, control D, control D. Okay. To select all the occurrences of class and rename it to class name like so. And I will get rid of this hide on medium class. Right. Okay. Yep and i think everything rest everything is fine okay so i need to export this export nav bar export default right default d e f a default nav bar and now i can import it in here so i'll import that import nav bar from uh, dot slash in current directory we have components and inside this component we have navbar so i'll get rid of this hello and instead i'll paste navbar and i can self close it like so let's have a look if navbar is visible in here okay so we need to add the style first right we need to 
uh, I'll be clicking on this get started and I need to uh, add this right so for now I'll be copying copying only the CSS right only the CSS for now okay now we will be using this JavaScript when we will need need that right for now I'll be just copying the CSS okay so we can paste it that inside this index HTML and maybe in here control V let's save this okay now let's have a look okay now it's beautiful isn't it it's beautiful okay I'll press alt control shift I to open the console and let's see if we have any errors in here and no everything is fine oh I need to uh, make this logo left align for that I can add a, maybe a class let's go to this nav uh, and in here I can add left left let's save this and let's see if it worked okay it, it worked right now you, you can see logo is on the left side okay it's fine and I want the color of the navigation bar to be of white and I will change the text color to black right so here I'll be adding the style right I'll be adding inline style and I'll be changing the text color to black uh, yeah B B L A C K. let's see if this works and it seems that color doesn't work didn't work maybe I can get rid of this and instead what also I will select all the occurrences of anchor tag in here and I will here give this a color of black and I will make this as important because it is possible that it may not work because maybe uh, BLACK uh, M I M P O R T A N T because it is possible that materialize may overwrite this color so that is why I am making it as an important field I will save this and let's see if this change if the text color changes still that is working why is that a case oh I haven't imported this okay I need to import that CSS so I'll import uh, import app dot CSS and that should be dot slash and it should be inside the codes why I am doing this okay like so let's save this and okay it is looking awesome it is looking beautiful okay so now I'll be changing this text right I'll be changing this text and I will go to navigation bar and I can maybe change this text to login login and s i g n u p sign up and this may be maybe profile p r o f i l like so okay now for now this is this is okay now let's implement the routing right so let's go to this app now here we will be importing some stuff so we will be importing i import something from uh from react router dom and that something is called first of all i knew i'll be importing browser router and ro route like so and uh, i can write my routes after this navigation navigation bar so navigation bar will be common it will be present in all the routes okay now here below that i can make use of the route first of all i need to wrap my every component with this browser router B R O W browser router like so. Control X and Control V. Okay. Now inside in here, I can write route R O U T route and and I can add a path to this right. And the path will be let's say if the path will be slash, then we will show a home component. Let's create the components. Right, maybe in this component I'll create a separate folder. I'll give it a name of SERWNS screens. Right. And inside this screen, I'll create home component, home.js, like so. Let's copy some stuff from uh, here. Control C and control V. Okay. Now let's make a functional component home and 
uh, we need to export that export default home and for now I can return maybe just an h1 tag with home like so okay and I will create a, a couple of more screen let's say p p r o f file profile dot js profile dot js okay and I will copy uh, this control C and I will paste this in profile as well but I will rename this home control D control D to P R O F I L E okay I will create two more two more screens right in here login dot js and I can paste it in here as well I'll select this home and here I can write hello GIN login and I can change this text as well right and let's go to this profile and change the text to P R O F I L E profile okay now I'll be creating one more that is sign up right S I G N U P dot J S and I'll paste it in here as well and I'll select the home and I'll rename it with S I G N U P and I can rename this text to S I G N U P okay now let's import all these four components in this app so I'll import first home from dot slash dot slash we have components and inside this component we have screens and inside the screen we have home right I will duplicate that by pressing alt shift down key and in, and in here I'll press slash and login here I can rename this home with hello and login again I'll duplicate that and in, in place of login I can write slash uh, profile and I can rename this to profile profile okay and again I'll duplicate it duplicate this line by pressing alt shift down key and I'll put a slash and sign up and I'll replace this with s i g n u p g and you be like so if the path is slash then we will show a home home component like so h o m e okay i can self close it right and if the route is p a t h path uh, is slash s s i g n uh, sign s i g n i in sign in then we can show maybe login component hello login component i can self close it i can uh, i can replace this login with sign in s i g n i n right instead yeah this will be uh, we should uh, give the same name, name right okay if this is this path is a sign in then we will show the sign in component uh, i'll duplicate that by pressing alt shift down key if the path is login login then we will show login 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 and I'll again duplicate that I'll shift down key and if the path is profile profile then we will show profile okay now when this path will change now this path will change let's uh, go to our navigation bar and in place of hr href here i can write slash hello gin login and here i can write slash s i g n u p uh, slash okay and here slash p r o f i so we will be when we will be clicking on these links then the path will change now uh, here we have written the logic in this app.js if the path is this then we will show the home component right okay like so so this is the logic okay this is how this router works okay and here i can write slash right when user will click on this logo let's change this logo to instagram maybe i n s t a i n s t a g r a m okay let's save this and now let's have a look finally okay login is not defined on line number 20 let's go to app.js and okay uh for sign up screen s i g n u p sign up we will show sign up component instead uh, s i g n u p like so okay so this was a mistake in here let's save this okay so 
So for the default route, we are seeing this home text. If we click on this login, we should, uh, okay. We are able to sign up and if we click on this profile, we are able to see profile, but this login is not working for some reason. Let's have a look on this, what is written in this login. Uh, when the path, let's have a look on the path. Okay, uh, so path is, uh, path should be not login, it should be sign in. Okay, so let's go to our navigation bar and the path should be in here, should be sign in. S I G N I and sign in and here I'll write sign in instead of login S I G N I N right okay let's save this okay but there are two issues let's click on the sign in okay now here we can see the login text okay we'll change this text don't worry but here's a little issue this home is visible in all the components right in all the components right in profile the home text is visible now why is that a case because let me go to this app.js because you know this slash is included in all the all the path right that is why we are able to see the home as well so here to prevent from this issue i will put exact 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 if i save this now home should be only uh, visible in this homes home when i click on this instagram in this home on this default route that is slash if i click on the sign in then again you can see login if i click on the sign up you can see sign up and if profile profile but there's one more issue if i'm clicking on any link here you can see the page is getting refreshed right you can see a quick refresh now why is that a case because we have used anchor tags we have something called as link we can use make use of that which, which will be coming from react router dom so let's make use of that import link from react router dom right and instead of this anchor text so i'll select all the occurrences of anchor text control d control d control d control d control d control d and i'll rename it with link like so let's save this now uh, oh so now there's one more issue with the link we don't need this hrf hrf instead of H hrf we need to put here two right we need to put here two so i'll select all the occurrences of hrf and here i'll be putting two let's save this okay now there is no error in here if we click on the sign in it is showing login text if i click on the sign up it is showing this and here you can see page is not getting refreshed and text is changing instantly right this is the beauty of react yes it's a single page web application right when we are clicking on this link and the content is changing dynamically so i'm loving this right so i think we should continue further in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next video